Hello everyone, welcome to Rasa's classroom. Today we are solve a interesting complex number mass problem which is square root negative 1 power is square root negative 1 is equal to what? How to solve this interesting math problem? So I solve this math Olympiad questions two method. Our first method. I solve this questions two method. First of all, this is square root negative 1. So square root negative 1, it will be i. According to complex number rules, you know that is square root minus 1, it will be i. So you can see really this i, it will be 0 plus 1 i. Yes, 0 plus 1i, it will be i. Now, this 0, you can see it will be cos pi over 2, it will be 0. Then plus, this 1, it will be sine pi over 2, then it will be i. Now, this below, it will be cos pi over 2, then this time this, it will be i, and it will be sine pi over 2. Now, at this moment, you can see, according to all the rules, e to the power i theta, you know that, e to the power i theta, it will be cos theta plus i sin theta. So if I apply this mass formula here, so here is theta is equal to pi over 2. Now, you can see this expression, this expression it will be e to the power i theta. Theta is pi over 2. Now, our question, square root minus 1 bracket power is square root minus 1. So, you can see it will be e to the power i pi over 2 bracket power is square root negative 1. It will be i. Then, it will be e to the power i times i. It will be i square times it will be pi over 2. I apply this exponential formula e to the power n whole to the power m. It will be e to the power n m. So here e to the power i square it will be negative 1 times pi over 2. So we are find out this below e to the power minus pi over 2. This is our final answer in this exponential math problem. So you can see it will be e to the power minus pi over 2 plus 2 and pi here is n member of z so this is our final answer now i solve these questions are this method our question it will be square root minus 1 power is square root minus 1 it will be i to the power i now at this moment we know that we know that the Euler formula Euler's formula it will be e to the power i pi plus 1 is equal to 0 then e to the power i pi is equal to negative 1 then you can see really here e to the power i pi is equal to negative 1 it will be i square according to complex number of i square it will be negative 1 then at this moment i use both side exponent half e to the power i pi bracket power is half is equal to e to the power i to the power 2 bracket 1 over 2 now this expression it will be e to the power i pi over 2 this time this it will be this and it is i to the power 2 times 1 over 2 then this this cancel out we are find out e to the power i pi over 2 is equal to i now at this moment i use both side exponent i so it will be e to the power i pi over 2 bracket power is i is equal to i to the power i now at this moment you can see really e to the power i times i it will be i square and here is pi over 2 is equal to i to the power i now i square it will be negative 1 so i to the power i negative 1 so it will be e to the power minus pi over 2 so i solve these questions are this method i to the power i 
it will be e to the power minus pi over 2. This is our final answer in this complex number math problem. It is an interesting math. Thank you all. If you enjoy this math problem, please subscribe my channel for other interesting video. Goodbye. Take care, everyone. Have a good day.